Hi friends, it's Shari. Today I'm creating a card using the new Henry Jr.'s ABC stamp set. I am pairing the stamp set with the Henry's ABC's die set for my card today and I really like the look when you mix these two together. They are the same font but they're obviously different sizes. You can see I've cut the word dreams from some yellow sparkle cardstock. This is from the spring pack. And then I have a panel here cut with the largest stitched rectangle from some blue jay cardstock. And this is where I'm going to do all my embossing of my stamping today. I'm taking the word dreams that's die cut and I'm going to use my ruler to make sure it's nice and straight. Make sure those letters are nicely spaced. And then I'm going to use a piece of tape to pick this up. The ruler is a great tool for this because you can kind of just butt it up against the bottom of the letters and it straightens them up for you and then you need, only need to do a little bit of adjusting. So I'm using a piece of washi tape to hold these letters in place and I'll be able to move these around as one word. Now I am remaking a card that I made previously and so you're going to get a little sneak peek here of how I figured out the placement of my letters. I like to stamp my ideas out and kind of plan them out on a piece of scrap paper. You can see there's lots of notes and then I kind of use it as scrap for my ink. But it gives me a way to kind of practice the spacing for my letters. Now I like to start at the center and you can see I've sort of drawn a pencil line through the center there. Now if you stamp this out and you like the way it is, you could always just lay your stamps on the one that you stamped before. But what I'm going to do is put that W which is in the center and I'm just double checking that it is the center with my centering ruler. That's a good way to check if you're not sure about measurements. And I'm going to put that W right there in the middle. Then I'm going to pick it up with the door of my Misty and I can get rid of this scrap piece of paper because now all I have to do is take these letters because each of them are on a rectangular base and then I can just butt those bases right up against each other and I'll get a perfectly spaced word. Now I do like to test mine to make sure it looks right before I stamp it on my final project. So I have another piece of scrap paper here and I'm just going to stamp this to make sure it's all nicely spaced and straight and that looks good to me. So I've just removed that paper and put my piece of Blue Jay cardstock in. I've already prepped it with an anti-static powder tool and I stamped those letters down in some clear embossing ink. And I'm going to be embossing all of these lines with the stamps in some white embossing powder. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my heat tool to melt this one so that I don't accidentally bump it and bump off any of that powder. So I'm just heating it up from the back side and then from the front till that powder melts and I get that bright white sentiment. Now I can put this back in my Misty. I can pull out that word dreams again and see how it's spaced underneath it. And then this will allow me to lay out the next two lines below. Now for the next line, the center is kind of in between the two words because I have two words that are both four letters long. So I'm just kind of laying that last letter for the word they and the first letter for the word no, centering it up with my W up above. And then I'm going to do the same thing and pick those up with the door of my Misty and then finish laying out the rest of those two words. Now this ABC set has a lot of repeats of letters, so I have plenty of stamps to lay out the bottom line as well. I did have to reuse my W, so you saw that I moved it from the word no to the word way, and I'll just stamp the W twice. You can see I've checked it again with that scrap piece of paper, and then I've gone back to my Blue Jay. I'm gonna move my die cut word out of the way, prep my paper with my anti-static powder tool, and then I'll stamp these two lines together at the same time. And you could get a perfect spacing between the two lines by bumping those rectangular bases up against each other from the top to the bottom as well. So you see how nicely that is spaced by doing that little technique. 
So I am going to go ahead and stamp that second W before I heat emboss the rest of these letters. So I'll just move that aside, bring out the heat tool again, make sure it's nice and warm. And I like to heat mine up from the back and then go to the front. And so now I have this really nice bright white sentiment on that dark blue background. And then I know that my die cut word is gonna fit between the two perfectly. Now to add my stars to my nighttime sky, I'm using my gold metallic watercolors and just adding little flecks of paint all over the background. I'll use my heat tool to speed up the drying of that metallic paint and kind of flatten out my cardstock a little bit. Now I am putting lots of adhesive all over this because my cardstock got slightly warped from all the heat embossing, but it's no problem because I can just stick this down to the card base and it will stay nice and flat for me. I'm just making sure that it is nice and stuck down and kind of going slow to kind of work out any of those wrinkles that it has. Now I can take my die cut letters and add a little bit of liquid glue to the back of each of them, still leaving them attached to that tape so it still works like one big word. And then that easily lets me place this in the right spot with all those letters perfectly spaced. And then I'll just pull off that tape and my letters are glued to the background and I have that full sentiment. Now I'm adding some glittery clouds to the corners and I'm placing my die so I can make sure I cut it in the right spot, kind of just holding it in place with my fingers. And then I'm sliding that pixie dust glitter card stock in behind it. And I'm just doing this to make sure I cut it in such a way that I don't cover up any of my letters. And then I'm going to do the same thing to this corner up here. add a little bit of tape to hold that in place and run that through my die cut machine. And then I'll add both of these corners of clouds with some liquid glue. And I think that this frames up this big bold sentiment really nicely and really goes with that kind of nighttime look of the card. Now for the images in my card, I used the small hot air balloon from the Fly High stamp set. I colored each of them in two colors so that with three of them together, I kind of get a rainbow of all the colors and I really love how these pop on that dark blue sky. I'm adding some foam squares to two of those and then for this purple one, I'll just stick this down with liquid glue and kind of tuck it behind that blue and green balloon. And then finally, I have some stars cut from some gold sparkle cardstock. These are cut using the stars in the Stars and Hearts with Skinny Tag die set. And I'm just kind of dropping them in, figuring out where I want them to go. They're not glued down yet. And then I will go through and just pick each one up, add a dot of glue, and drop my stars back into place. And then of course I'm going to add some stardust to the tops of my hot air balloons to complete this nighttime scene. And here is my finished card. I love that sentiment. Follow your dreams. They know the way. And I just love this new ABC set. I think it is so much fun. Now let's take a look at some cards from the design team. I just love Audrey's underwater scene that is all at the bottom of the card with that white space at the top. I think it is a really cool look. And I love Elena's pairing of the custom sentiment with the very rainy day bears. It is so much fun. Elise made a really cute baby set mixing the ABC set with sentiments from the elephant parade set. And then Maureen made this really cool slimline card customizing her sentiment by mixing the stamps and dies as well. Megan made a super cute card. I love how she mixed all the different fonts for her sentiment and I love that basket full of carrots. And then Grace used the Spanish add-on for Henry Jr.'s ABCs to create some really fun cards. Kara also used that Spanish add-on to create a really fun birthday card and I love those bold bright colors. Callie's baby card is so sweet. I love the way she colored her elephants and I love that inked background as well.
And then Letitia used the ABC set to fill her card with a custom sentiment, and I just love that cloudy background she created. Yainea paired that ABC set with a die cut and made a really fun Mother's Day card. And then here's another card from Callie, and I love those balloons stenciled in the background. They are so much fun. And then here's another look at the card I created today, mixing the Henry Jr.'s ABCs with Henry's ABCs dies. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.